Megan, Megan, Megan. Yeah, Megan's gonna go to school. We are about to put the trailer into the pasture so that the horses will be around it for the next couple of days, hoping it will normalize for Megan because she is going to have to get on the trailer in a couple of days and she's going to boarding school. What do you think, Sassy? Something's about to happen, huh? Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. The trainer we're taking her to in Idaho suggested putting the trailer in the pasture and putting some food in it to slowly get her adjusted to the trailer, maybe even think it's a good thing so that she won't kill us when we try to load her. She has been on this trailer once before when we brought her back here. But uh, I don't know, when we brought her back here, she just looked kind of tired, you know? And uh, now it's been a year or so, she's fattened up a little bit, she's gotten more confident here, and I think she's gonna put up a little bit more of a fight. We'll see, but hopefully putting the trailer in the pasture is going to take the edge off just a little bit. Party crew is back. Trying to figure out what's going on. Megan, of course, the most brave one, pushing Sassy closer to the danger as she normally does. <laughs> Those horses are so brave. They're so brave, you know, really. If we ever have an emergency around here, or we need to go to war or something in our backyard, I'm definitely gonna jump on one of those two horses. They are, they are the bravest out there, the trustiest of steeds, as you can see. Wow, look at those pretty nails, let's see. Can you show them again? Wow, cool. Meanwhile, the producer is giving herself a manicure, a redneck manicure, right? Okay. 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 How do you do this? Show us how you do this manicure. Took a few hours, but there they are. Eating dinner at Shea Trailer. A fine dining five-star restaurant where the same thing is served every night. What the? Zinnia! That dog thinks she's a horse. Zinny! Zinny! Oh, Lord. Zinnia, you're gonna get kicked. The kid thinks she's a dog. The dog thinks she's a horse. This is quite a family system we have going here. has already started off dramatically because Lynn has discovered wasp nests in the trailer which would have led to a couple different situations had they not been discovered prior to loading Megan one would be serious bodily injury or death uh, which would probably be one of the likely outcomes loading a horse that already doesn't want to get on the trailer and then her getting stung by a bunch of wasps I'm not sure what the other option would have been. Probably that's the only one. Because I'm not gonna put a whole bunch of wasp spray in the trailer right before I put the horse in there. So it means I have to manually extricate the wasps. Should we just shoot them? So yeah, it was a... Uh... Add that to the trailer checklist when you're getting ready to go somewhere. If you haven't uh, checked your trailer in a while, well, wasps like to build nests up in the little nooks and crannies. Our friend Jeff is here helping. You've seen him in many videos helping to build stalls. He just shows up. He's kind of a nomadic person. We're not really sure where he actually lives, but he just shows up when we need him. And now he is doing the hairstyling for the trip. So Megan 
doesn't look like a total riffraff when she shows up. How's she doing? She's doing fantastic. What's your read on her energy right now? She's chill. She's loving the attention, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh. Yes, you are. Got some carrots, gotten some love. Big day for you, Megan. Sassy's feeling all jealous. Oh, Sassy. You wanna go to school too, Sassy? You wanna go to school too? Sassy's been to so much school, she's like Professor Emeritus, however you say it. Actually, I don't even think Megan, I'm not sure I would consider Megan even a kindergarten graduate at this point, honestly. There's n nothing wrong with that, Megan, just, just trying to say. Lily picked this out at the That's store. Got all the great colors. Good yep. girl, Megan. Very pretty. What do you think, Megan? What you got on your head there, Jeff? My new GoPro. And why are you wearing it? Just cause. Are you expecting there to be something interesting that's gonna happen? <laughs> Life is always full of interesting moments. <laughs> Record it all and see what happens later. Jeff the Horse Whisperer. Oh, right. last kisses before they go. Last kisses. Last kisses. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, which is something we have kept a secret for almost nine months, I am very pregnant, which is another reason why Jeff was kind enough to come help us because it's not really the ideal time to get kicked and end up in the hospital. Hey girl. Giving her a break. better than I was expecting it to be. So hopefully Megan keeps surprising us. All right, time to go wake up the producer and get on the road. As the old saying goes, when the trailers are rocking, don't come a knocking. I don't think they meant this. Aw, Sassy's saying goodbye. Sassy, it's okay, she'll be back, honey. She'll be back, honey, I promise. Zinnia's having fun. Bye, Megan. Have fun at school. <laughs> hey, Maggie. It's gonna be okay, girl, okay? It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, baby. It's gonna be all right, girl. It's okay. Hey, Maggie, chill. We stopped at a gas station real fast to check and make sure the windows are open because sometimes they close when you hit bumps and our road's really bumpy. She's sweating bullets, so we gotta hurry up and get there. Uh, cross your fingers, cross hooves. Small sedan uh, decided to slam on their brakes right in front of us. We're on like a two lane highway on our way to Idaho. And we almost just ran right into them. They were just, I don't know, rubbernecking this RV that was stuck, but for some reason came to a screeching halt and then just took off. Uh, we barely avoided them. And uh, that was uh, that was a little nerve wracking, but everybody's still intact. All 
All right, everyone, this is the moment of truth. We're just going to apparently open the door and let her run out. There she is. Hey, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. Good job, Maggie. You made it. You made it. What do you think? When Megan rolled the second time, she almost got her hoof stuck in the round pen fencing. And the trainer said it is a sign that she basically has no survival skill. She explains it a lot more eloquently. Is that Megan? Hey. Gonna give her some grass. Well, we finally made it home. Sassy appears to be doing okay. She's eating fine. I don't think this is an ideal situation for her to be by herself, but we're hoping that eventually we'll be able to trail ride with these two horses together. So aspire to great things and just have to make a little sacrifice in the meantime. If you are interested in the trainer we're working with, Samantha Harvey, she's got a lot of great resources online. She's got an online course. She actually does remote coaching too and she's accessible through social media she does direct messaging all that good stuff so check out the links in the description if you're interested in that we have a lot of hope for megan with her and we're thinking in a month or maybe two months we'll bring her home and we'll be able to work on some of the stuff that she's learned and of course we'll be doing update videos here so also don't forget to make sure to subscribe to the channel here like share the video see she's still kind of calling to her buddy Ah, eh, it happens, right? <laughs> life, life is pain, Highness. Anyone who tells you otherwise is trying to sell you something. What movie does that come from? Let me know in the comment section. See you next time.